Today, I'm going to go and show you guys something really awesome. I have a redstone house that no one has ever seen before. It's underneath the ground and is super hidden that almost no one should ever be able to find it. But for that, we do have a very special item. Right inside our chest over here, we should have a redstone torch, loads of game tokens, and also a vault key, which I think is going to be awesome. Now we can start right around here with a camping site that has a few redstone touches itself, which I'm going to show you guys. If you press this lever in this campsite, it goes ahead and takes the fire away. Or if you want to go ahead and heat up the area, you can go ahead and start it off again. That is so cool. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go check out this redstone house because I think it's going to be so full of things that you guys are going to love it so much. Well, let's go and get a redstone torch and add it to this tree right around here, which is basically the key to this whole hidden house. Now, we've got to be really quick. We need to go ahead, open this door, and I think this floor here should go ahead and disappear. And it's basically an elevator to our house. It's one of the most secure houses I've ever seen. Now, one of the most important things is, is never show anyone what you use to open up your door. Now, for this, we should be entering the main room, which should be right here. Here we go. And perfect. This is so cool. Now, something to bear in mind. Never press this button, because if not, you'll be locked in here where you have to dig your way up to the top, and you might not never escape. Well, guys, let me show you the opening room. This opening room is so cool. It even already has some redstone features that goes ahead and turns off the water. <laughs> Cool! That is awesome! It's almost like a test tube. Or, if you do want to go ahead and start it up again, it should be very simple. Ah, nice! Let's go ahead and press this button, and it should start up very quickly. There we go. Cool! Well, I'm going to start off with the nature room. I think that's going to be so cool. Let's open this, and perfect, and inside we go, and I can already see a villager trying to sell us some stuff. Hello villager, how's it going? I see you've been trapped as a prisoner inside the minecart, but I don't seem to be able to trade you. No! <laughs> oh, it sucks. Well, just say we want to go ahead and get a few items. We're going to turn this arrow and it'll go ahead and change so many things for us. I'm going to go and choose the gold ingot. Let's do this. If I press this, see you villager! Thank you! I think another villager should go ahead and appear very soon. But we need to wait for it because I think we are going to need some emeralds. Okay, I don't think anything's going to happen. We've been waiting here for a few seconds and it seems to be pretty quiet. I can't hear any redstone or anything appearing anytime soon. But I do want to go ahead and do the exchanger. So this will go ahead and change our game tokens into emeralds. So all we've got to do is add our game tokens and we should start getting loads of potions right inside here as well. Let's do this. Let's press this. Okay, let's wait a second. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Game tokens are being used up and we are getting loads of emeralds. Cool. Okay, why is none of the potions working? No, I don't think they're working. Oh, there they go. So we can also go ahead and change the game tokens to loads and loads of potion healings. Okay, let's do this. It's gone ahead and given us 10 emeralds, which I think is absolutely perfect. And still no villager. And right inside here is where they go ahead and change the game tokens into loads of emeralds from all our emerald blocks. And right around here, we have our wooden block. This is basically the farm area that we can go ahead and use by doing this. And perfect. See you later. <laughs> oh, poor guy. It seems to be really sad. Once he dies, he should go ahead and give us a few items inside the dropper. Oh, he's trying to survive. Let's do this again. Perfect. Okay, did he give us any items? Ah, I guess it's a 50-50 chance. And now we have a full chest full of potions and everything we could ever need. And very soon, we should go ahead and get another zombie appearing right in there. Now, I've just noticed right inside here we have some sheep, some pigs, and also some cows. But keep that in mind. It's something we're going to have to use very later on. And right around here, we should have everything involving melons, cactuses, pumpkins, wheat, whatever you want to go ahead and survive down here for the rest of your life. And let's just say we want... I'm going to choose... Oh, I want to see what the pig one is. Let's do this. So we should go ahead and get... Let's have a look. Oh, it's a wool one. So it's probably the sheep. Cool. Okay, let's press this uh, over here. And perfect. And it'll go ahead and send it straight back. Now I'm going to go and press the potato one. Let's see what it's going to give us. I'm so looking forward to this. Here we go. Let's have a quick look. Yes, potatoes, wheat, seeds, and everything we could ever want. We should be able to go ahead and add them right inside here. Now, over here, you'll notice you can go ahead and cut the trees and replant the saplings, which is basically a farm in itself. 
And right around here, we do have loads of villagers farming away that should go ahead and add every single one of the wheat into the area, which I think is absolutely crazy. Well, I think this has turned out to be such a perfect day. Oh, and the villagers back. I knew you would come. And there we go. He's gone ahead and given us our gold ingot. This is exactly what we wanted. Okay, I think we should be able to go ahead and change it very soon. Now, I did have to open it up purely because I couldn't reach him. See, I'm trying to get him, but he seems to be so far away. So we can easily go ahead and change it to the diamond one. And I think very soon, another villager should go ahead and appear. See you, villager! I'm still waiting for the villager to appear. It's pretty much been a couple of minutes. I'm just waiting to see if either it comes up from the ground or it falls from above, which I'm so looking forward to finding out. I have a feeling they fall from above. I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below if you think they rise up from the ground or they fall from above as well, because I can't seem to see what's actually going on down there. I have a feeling we'll never find out. It seems like no one is ever gonna come. Okay, we might just leave that there. And I have noticed there is a hay one right around here. Oh, it opens up a staircase. Cool. And if we go straight up, I think it should open up the new area. This is so cool. And it's so bright. So it seems like this is another farming area that will go ahead and farm loads of dangerous mobs for us. I think right in the corner we have some bats, which I'm not really sure if we can actually go ahead and farm. And I think every few seconds it will go ahead and turn on and off the water and push every single one of the dangerous mobs into the abyss, which I'm kind of scared of. Well guys, let me show you something I think is absolutely horrific. If we go ahead and take out these carrots, I think we should be able to go ahead and feed every single one of these pigs. There we go. Let's raise them up. Come on, buddies. And good. Let's go ahead and keep on raising them. And I think they should go ahead and love these carrots. Perfect. And awesome. Okay, let's add these carrots back. Let's turn this off, and let's go ahead and get out some wheat, and let's do the cows. And I'll show you guys very soon as to what this is. I think it's going to be really gruesome. Well, guys, let's turn this off again, and let's add this back. And I do think right around here we have the sheep. Okay, I think they want some wheat as well. So let's do this, and perfect, and awesome. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what this is going to do now. I think you guys are going to find this absolutely disgusting, and you're going to hate it so much. Well, let's do this. I'm going to throw this back. I'm going to go back downstairs. I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. I hate this so much. It's the most awful part of the day. And still no villager. Would have still been waiting till today. Well, guys, let me show you. It will go ahead and spawn a baby sheep. And then all we're going to do is this. No! Poor sheep! <laughs> okay, this is not good whatsoever, guys. And this sheep will sadly go ahead and die and give us some wool. Sorry, sheep! Guys, this sucks so much. The pigs didn't have any kids, and we also have a baby cow right in there. It's one of the most awful things I've ever seen. And it will go ahead and give us some beef, some cow hides, whatever you guys want. But sadly, that's the awful world of a farm. Well, guys, let me go and show you the rest. I think it's going to be so exciting. Still no villager. Strange. Well, let's go ahead and do the bookcase. Cool. Okay, let's do this. Inside we go. And these pressure plates will go ahead and turn on the lights. Oh, for a second I didn't think it was going to work. Perfect. Well, such a beautiful area, but let me go and show you guys around. This is one of the strangest houses I've ever been in. We press this, and the light should go ahead and come down. And we have some wonderful items to go and press. Perfect. Every single chair is for a walk-in closet. And we do have a sunflower. Oh, it's down here. Let's go and have a quick look. There's basically a hidden room right inside your bedroom. It's absolutely crazy. Cool! Okay, we have some game tokens right around here. Some wonderful items to go ahead and press. And we should be able to get loads and loads of things. Do you know what? I think this is absolutely crazy. Let's keep on going around here. Let me show you the rest of the rooms. We have a dance floor. That if we press this button, it will go ahead and turn on and off the lights. Yes! Get ready to dance, guys! Perfect! <laughs> this is crazy! And let me keep on going. We still haven't finished. This is a basically a challenge that all you got to do is run across and you get loads of sunflower tokens. And right inside here, we can go ahead and choose what armors we want. So I'm going to choose blue. Let's do blue of everything. Perfect. And good. I'm going to go right around here. Let's choose blue. And then blue on this side. And let's press this button. And it should go ahead and show us our items very soon. Can you guys hear the crackling? Oh! Yes, it worked. That's so crazy. Okay, let's put every single one of these on and perfect. You can basically do this with every single color. And right around here, you can go ahead and choose whatever gold item you want. I'm going to choose diamond. See you later. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh, that is awesome. 
I want to go see what the lava one is. I'm very curious to find out what it looks like. Where is it? Something's happening. I think it's coming. Oh! Oh, it's an enchanted diamond one. Perfect. Well, I'm going to leave those right there. I don't think we're actually going to go ahead and use them today, especially because this is a farm. It's not a battle zone. So I don't think we're going to be able to go ahead and use any of these items. Well, let's leave this room. And right inside here, we have a maze that I don't really want to do. I've been in there already a few days ago, and it was so scary. Well, guys, let me go show you the rest of the rooms. And I think I'm really looking forward to finding out what the last room is. I've almost done it, guys. It's going to be crazy because the last few rooms should involve our bunker. Well, let me just quickly show you around. And we have a wonderful enchantment area. Let's do this. We've got some wonderful pearls. And let me show you the end portal. Right down there we go. And right around here. Oh, enter dragon scare. Guys, it's so crazy. And if we go around here, we should have the rest of our items. Now, I think I've got to add this. And good. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. I was wondering where I was going to appear from. And then we can go ahead and do an enchantment table. Which should open up right in the middle. There it comes. And perfect. This is one of the most amazing houses I've ever been in. And we have a lapis lazuli. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Ah, exactly what we needed. We have an anvil and another chest with loads of enchantment books. Well, guys, we're sadly done in this room. Let me go and show you the last final bolt room, which should be pretty simple and very efficient to keep all of your diamond items. Let's do this. Get ready. I don't know where I was going to appear from. Oh, it's down at the bottom. Perfect. And here we go. Well, I think the passcode is this. Let me go and test it out. Some of these lights should go ahead and turn on once it's working. Oh, perfect. Wait for it. Now, I do have the vault key. Oh, there we go. I was wondering what was going to happen. For a second, I thought it was absolutely completely broken. Okay, wait for it. And there it goes. Now, it's not something you want to have in a zombie apocalypse, purely because it's going to take forever to open up. Come on. And there we go. Perfect. So we have some diamonds, some gold, some emeralds right around here. We have a chest full of everything we could ever need, which is completely empty, so it must have been robbed. And this will go ahead and open this final door. There we go. It closes the door. Let's look at it go. There we go. Perfect. Let's just leave that right there. We have some wonderful creators on this side and also anything you could ever need from this table. You can just go ahead and choose from the arrows. There we go. And perfect. Well, this is actually so cool. I think this is exactly what we need. There it goes. Cool! Ah, oh, this is awesome. It will go ahead and change every single one of the colors for us. And I think I should go ahead and put them inside the chest or show it in another room. Well, guys, let me just show you the final thing, which should be back up. So let's press this. We go up the very small minecart and we press this button. And I don't know why it's so dark around here. And it'll take us back upstairs. Well, guys, that's a wonderful bolt. I'm never going to take my house for granted. This is the most amazing house I've ever had. And all you got to do then once you're finished with this complete house is pretty much press this button and head up to the real world. This is basically a real thing, guys. I don't think I would ever want to go ahead and pretty much leave that house ever. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in another crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe down below the button is red. And don't forget to press the notifications bell. So, guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out. Oh, no. Oh, that's why I wanted to stay in the house.